Hey guys, you are watching the In Third Person comic book show. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, a website about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. And today on the show, I know we've talked about this a few times, but now that the series is over, let's put this one to bed and lay Wolverine to rest, because we are talking about The Death of Wolverine, a four-part series by Charles Sewell and Steve McNiven. Over now, uh, we're going to wrap it up. So in one of the last videos I talked about it, we talked about issues one and two. I went into great detail on my thoughts on these. Uh, oh, just so you know, there's going to be spoilers all over the place in this video. So if you haven't read it, hit pause, go somewhere else, go read this four-part series, and then come back and let's talk about what happened here. So just to recap what happens in issue one. I always get that mixed up. I don't know how the... Yeah, because... Anyway. <laughs> issue one. Uh, Wolverine is with Miss, Mr. Fantastic trying to figure out a solution to his problem. And his problem is that he lost his healing factor uh, due to an alien shooting some weird dart thing. The story's actually really bad. So the less about it, the better. Mr. Fantastic says he's going to need some time to figure it out. Uh, just stay out of trouble. The problem is, people are coming out of the woodwork to take out Wolverine because there's a lot of money on his head. And so, Wolverine, of course, not going to back down from a fight, says, I'm, i am I got to figure this out. I'm going to stop this at the source. So he beats up some dudes here. This is probably the best issue of the bunch. Then we go over here, and Hydra seems to be involved. In particular, Viper, who at one point he was married to. Um... He goes over there, and she wants him alive, but says, hey, here's Sabretooth, because I want you to fight him. <laughs> and so they fight, and the Lady Death Deathstrike comes in, and she's about to land the death blow on Wolverine. And then, surprise, Kitty Pride comes out of nowhere, as she tends to do. Like, I, I still don't understand how she happened to be all the way. Knew that Wolverine was going out there, and went to Japan, but I digress. <laughs> she saves Wolverine, and there was a super badass scene where Kitty Pride messes up Lady Deathstrike's hand really good. One of my favorite uh, images in the whole series. So, now let's go jump over to issue three. Uh, of course, a n lot of Kitty Pride here. They have history, of course, dating all the way back to... Let me pull this up here. Um, the limited edition series, X-Men, Kitty Pride, and Wolverine, where Kitty Pride. She notices her dad's doing some foul stuff in Japan. She hops on a plane with him and then finds out he's been dealing with some really shady characters. And along the way, she gets her spirit taken over by Wolverine's old sensei, who happens to be some sort of demon that can possess bodies. Uh, this was actually really good. And so in issue three of this, they do a lot of nods to that old series. Wolverine and Kitty Pride have a chance to talk things over before Ogun possesses her again and he fights and he finally finds out who is behind this whole thing and as it turns out it's Dr. Cornelius best known as the doctor in let me grab this other book I'm gonna put these on the floor real quick uh from Weapon X of course one of the scientists that helped put Wolverine together so of course well, we gotta grab one more Ugh. Is this it? So we finally get around to issue four. And Wolverine confronts Dr. Cornelius, who, as it turns out, is kind of making his own Weapon X. He's taking the learnings from the old Wolverine experience and trying to put it on everyone. That's why he wants Wolverine alive. The problem is he hasn't been able to complete the project because he needs healing factor. I, I guess no one gave Dr. Cornelius the memo that Wolverine doesn't have it anymore, so he tries to kill him. And, I mean, the final moments of Wolverine's life, they kind of rub me the wrong way. Um, he he wants to save all the people that have been captured in there, but it's cool. Uh, the way Wolverine ends up dying is he wrecks a whole bunch of machines, and one of them is full of adamantium, and he slices that machine, and it pours all over him. Like, okay, well, now he's covered in adamantium. And they still have one of those magical syringes that happens to make everyone okay. Wolverine chooses to stab some other guy with it, and then basically just die as a solid adamantium statue. 
yeah. So, I mean, I know expectations are going to be really high for, you know, finally killing off this character, and did they live up to him? I have to say no. Um, the story is, has in general, was better than some of the Wolverine stuff I've read of late, but I felt like the first issue was great, and then it just kind of went down from there, and then the final moments, like, it was just so frustrating to know that Wolverine didn't have to die right there. He didn't have to slice that machine and get the adamantium to spill all over himself, and then on top of that, he totally could have just taken the needle and stabbed himself, and he would have been okay, but no, he chose to just die. So, in a roundabout way, it was a weird accidental death slash suicide thing. Um, I really do like the last page spread that Steve McNiven drew that just kind of summarizes his life. That was one of the few bright spots of this whole thing, but, I mean, just as a whole, it, it, it wasn't... It could have been better. I don't want to say it sucked, because it didn't suck, but it could have been better, so it was kind of a letdown. And this is just... This is it. We live in a post-Wolverine world, right? Right? No, not really. Uh, Wolverine is... Well, at the very least, Wolver there's Marvel is doing a whole bunch of Death of Wolverine specials with different characters dealing with the loss of Wolverine. And then in 2015, we already know that a version of Wolverine is coming back. Um, it's been confirmed that Wolverine is going to be in Secret Wars... And so I'm guessing some sort of, like, past version of Wolverine ends up in the fight. And then, most recently, Marvel announced X-Men Years of Future Past. And look who's in that picture. Also Wolverine, making already set for quite a few appearances next year, even though he's dead. Yeah, so, so much for being away from Wolverine, right? I thought that was the whole point of this whole thing, was to... Get him off the books for a while, give that character some rest, and then bring him back at the right time, but, um, no. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, I still have high hopes he's my favorite character in comics. Maybe next to Batman, but still, neck and neck. And Wolverine of late in the comics has not been so great. And for them, and partially because he was just way too saturated. There, he's in too many things, he's lost his identity, and the storytelling hasn't been that great. So now you kill him off, but then you're just gonna bring back some other cop-out version of Wolverine, and maybe you just keep him going forward so you can still say, oh yeah, Wolverine's still dead, but he's still in the comics because the past version of him's still alive, which they're doing already with all-new X-Men's Jean Grey. So, uh, that's, that's it. I, I feel a little frustrated by the whole thing. The art was great, but and there were a couple of high notes, but as a whole, the death of Wolverine, kind of a bummer. Uh, you probably, if you're a big Die Hard Wolverine fan, I guess wait for the trade paperback. Just so you, you know, well, if you were, if you didn't, this had spoilers in it, so I hope you haven't re watched this and haven't read it. But if you did, like, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I spoiled the whole thing. So I think that is going to do it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can like this video, give it the thumbs up on YouTube. You can subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash jet in third person. And check out my website, in thirdperson.com, for more stuff on comic books, video games, board games, and more. So until next time, I'm Jet from in thirdperson.com, and this has been the In Third Person Comic Book Show. Later.